There's a South Carolina restaurant owner and former auto mechanic. He made headlines when he decided to do something quite remarkable. He gave away more than 30 used cars that he personally repaired for people who needed them. This is in a rural community. Let's put up a picture of this amazing hero. These are the people we should celebrate, people like him. Since then, the mechanic has continued his efforts and even did another giveaway for the holiday season. His name is Elliot Middleton, 38 years of age, co-owner of Middleton and Maker Village Barbecue. Spends his spare time fixing used cars and giving them to people who need it in his rural town of South Carolina. Let me tell you what's so amazing about Mr. Middleton. He's not wealthy. Let me say that again. He's not filthy rich. He didn't pay someone to fix these cars. He did it himself. And this is a reminder, not only to me, but hopefully it's a reminder to everybody. We can all do something. He saw a need in his local community. He decided to provide a remedy to that need rather than simply talk he did. There are some families that he helped that really needed this because they had no transportation whatsoever. Let's put up a picture of some of these families he helped. Amazing, beautiful. In June news, Middleton's good works reached viewers across the nation. And the response was dozens of previously owned cars being donated to the restaurant owner. So he could provide rides to those without reliable transportation. So now you see the domino effect. He did this great deed and guess what happened? Other people decided to help him. He did this remarkable thing and other people jumped on the bandwagon and did remarkable things with them. But CBS News came back to check on Middleton this month. The network found that by now he has given away more than 60 automobiles of all types, including 12 in December for the 12 days of Christmas. Many of the recipients were folks who were still looking for employment, single parents, elderly people in need of transportation to their doctor's appointments and everyday errands. The co-owner of Middleton and Maker Village Barbecue opened up earlier this summer about what drove him to start repairing and giving away cars, telling the Washington Post. There's a lack of transportation in the rural areas and I knew I could use my previous experience in mechanics to help. It all started nearly two years ago when Middleton noticed several families without transportation. They were trekking more than four miles a day by foot to get a hot meal at a food drive he hosted. So in January 2020, in a Facebook post, he requested to the community to donate junk cars in exchange for slabs of barbecued ribs. So I just had an idea. Instead of junking a car with potential, if you don't really need the money, consider donating it to Middleton's Village Barbecue, he wrote. We would like to help folks in need of transportation in rural areas that don't have bus transit or taxi cabs or even Uber. Boom, mind blown. He needs to run for office and get something done on a larger scale. That's called solutions to the problem. David, what are your thoughts on this? Middleton's Village Barbecue, I love it. I think it's yes. great. I think what you know, the idea that you practice random acts of kindness in somebody's life today, all of us can do that. You don't have to be an auto mechanic. You don't have to have an expertise in anything. You just smile at somebody and say hello or say, hey, are you doing okay if somebody looks a little bit down? Or you just, you're just nice to people when you yourself may not be feeling so nice. You, know, you give of yourself and I guarantee that just makes you feel better. And uh, congratulations to, to Mr. Middleton and to this community. I mean, what a remarkable story. Remarkable story, remarkable man, and he represents what America can be, what America can be.